adding photos to your Flickr account and then having them appear as albums on club hosting is really easy once you've had it already set up. So if you're a club website customer who had ordered custom setup, we had already done the application process for you. So all you have to do is go to Flickr, upload some photos. During the upload, make sure you assign all of them to a new photo set such as club ride this is the name of the photo set to do that you just highlight all the photos there is a section on the left hand side of the upload menu so then once you've done that then you go over to club hostings dashboard and then under the add gallery setting you'll give it a name and then over here you're going to choose that it's a photo set and then your new photo set that you added will appear below it so you check that and then you can change the settings on how you want it to appear. For example, our default is to make a bunch of little square thumbnails. Instead, I'm going to have this gallery only show one photo of the album at a time on this page, so then it acts as a, a link to the main album. And then the sort order I'm going to have it be random so a new photo appears every time someone visits the page and then I'm going to choose a small size of a photo and then I'm going to turn off the descriptions have it only be one column and then leave this as is and I'm going to disable pagination that's the numbers below it to have people rotate through photos you can always leave this on if you prefer the look of it. This is how it will look with pagination on. Right here, this is pagination. Now, if you're showing thumbnails, it's not a bad idea to have it on. If you're showing um, single photos that you want people to click on to have it be a slideshow, then you can always turn it off. Granted, you can always leave it on to let people slide through the photos. But the more you have, the more numbers will be below it. So this is how you get everything set up. Then once you've added the gallery, it'll give you this gallery ID that you're gonna to wanna to copy into your website. So all you have to do is highlight that, click copy, go to your photo page, click the edit option. And then right here, I have it set up so that I'm creating photo albums with columns to display these photos. The gallery is already there. Note that it's the same gallery ID for the demonstration, but here we have our first column using the column short code available to me by the theme. You can also use the Easy Columns plugin, which gives you a little bit different um, short codes to use, but it's very similar. We have the short code that says, here's the start of our first column, here's what's inside the column, and then here's the start of our second column. So all we had to do is click we created a title called Club Ride. We made it a heading four size. We pasted it in our Flickr gallery real quick. Once we update that page, now it will be a link to a photo in that photo stream. And then when someone clicks on it, they'll be able to view the entire page, the entire slideshow of the photos. So here's our group photos that we had previously added. Now here's a link to the club ride photos and here's a random photo that's in the photo stream so now it says click to view the entire set of photos we go ahead and do that it opens this neat little light box of photos that people can scroll through so really to add an album to your website all you have to do is upload the photos to Flickr quick assign them to a photo set create a new gallery in Flickr take that little short code, paste it on your website, you're done adding photos in under a couple minutes. So now if you are curious on how clubs upload group photos, it's very similar, you're just adding them to, to Flickr, but since we already have the short code already up here to display group photos, you don't have to do anything, they're automatically added. There is another video that you can refer your members to in how to add photos to your Flickr account. Feel free to check that out. It's in our YouTube channel. Otherwise, it's also in the knowledge base if you search for how to add photos to a group photo album. Any other questions, feel free to give us a shout. Thanks.